the builder's creed. My body's a temple. All right, you and me. It's go time. Let's go, bro. Okay, let's get this party started. Once I figured out the half press, it was fine, but I don't know if this guy has a different thing. Beautiful. You're killing it. You're crushing it. It's almost like your muscles are singing. Damn it. <laughs> yeah, this one should be okay. I'll need a few goes at it, but I'll be okay. That was perfect. Yeah, keep it up! Yeah, keep it up! It's almost like your muscles are singing! Oh, that's the tap one. Truly incredible. Great form! You're killing it! You're crushing it! You're both so stunning! Through the pain. Yeah, just as I started to get the hang of it, it was already too late, but yes. Okay, I got this one. We got this. Get into the groove! Only problem is again I got the L2 one, which is fine, but if it switches over to R2 then I'd be in trouble. I have to restart. <laughs> Oh my god. This is so tight. No! I don't win if it's a draw, right? <laughs> they didn't even let me do one. How did I lose? That's not a defeat. That is not a defeat. How is that a defeat? That's not fair. I had like four or five seconds left to do one okay, more and I couldn't do it. One mistake started. with five seconds left and it still wasn't enough to win. That's so cruel. Truly incredible. Great form. You're both so stunning. Yeah, keep it up. Beautiful. <laughs> You're crushing it! That was perfect. Oh man, who's gonna win this one? It's too close to call! It's almost like your muscles are singing! Truly incredible. Great form! Just like that! I'm at a loss for work. Yeah, keep it up! You're killing it! You're crushing it! You're both so stunning! Alright. Oh, no. You had me sweating though. So I ended up taking off my headphones and it took another 10, 15 attempts at this. But I finally managed to do it. So again, I had to, any time that relied on the R2 side, I ended up not doing it. But this was the first time I truly nailed it. I drew against him twice, but the third time I managed to get to 22 or more, I just crushed through and it was all good. Hot damn, girl! That was a whooping I won't forget. All right, let's challenge Jules. Ready to work up a sweat? Man, if I could have a round like that previous one, I could, I'm sure I can beat Jules too. I absolutely crushed Jay. Wasn't even close. Just have fun with it. So, how are they going to mix it up for this? <laughs> so on. Yeah, keep it up. Great form. Don't you ever get sore? Just like that. Where'd that come from? <laughs> Keep it up! It's almost like Ah, got a bit carried away singing. there. Yeah, I'm I'm dead now. I don't think you have any chance to screw up here. 
<laughs> so on. Yeah, I was trying so hard to keep up after I failed. <laughs> Basically, I was starting to consider um, after after you get like things. three or four of those speed up things, it gets so difficult to keep up. I was thinking if I deliberately fail early, just one time, then I basically have momentum for the entire rest of the run. But that also didn't really work out. So. Yeah, keep it up. Great form. Because that's if you notice, that's what they do. They basically they fail early on. Like he fails at two or three or four or something like that, and then they just they basically just uh, almost take a clean run for the rest of it. <laughs> ah, come on. Yeah, Jules is pushing 50. That's insane. Yeah, so that's what I meant about the slope. By the time he fails, that's not relevant anyway, that final fail. So he fails like one time on like the first two, and then it's full momentum after that. So it's a much longer round. I think that's where they... Don't forget your game face. That's where the struggle comes in. Where you have to try and stay consistent. Everyone is whizzing around and not panic too much and just press the wrong stuff. It. Where'd that come from? You're crushing it. Yeah, keep it up. Incredible form. <laughs> Just like that. Yeah, keep it up. Don't you ever get sore? <laughs> it's almost like your muscles are singing. You're crushing it. <laughs> Where's that come from? <laughs> You're killing it! Great form! <laughs> yeah, keep it up! <laughs> Show up! You're crushing it! It's almost like your muscles are singing! Yeah, keep it up! <laughs> Don't you ever get sore? You're killing it! Oh man, who's gonna win this one? It's too close to call! Great form! Just like that! Where'd that come from? You're killing it! You're crushing it! Incredible form! Who'd have thought it'd be this close? Oh my gosh. <laughs> I was just getting warmed up. That was like a literal workout in real life for me too. I would say about 20, 30 attempts that took me. But this was a little bit of personal revenge because I'm I don't remember if in the remake I did beat Jules or like I did the final thing or whatever it was. I think there was a trophy related to this that I didn't do. But whatever the case was, I wanted to make sure that I got it this time. And I don't know if anyone noticed, but in the winning run, I was using R2. So I bit the bullet and I swapped my controller. And it does indeed turn out that what I've been using as my primary controller, uh, there's something broken about the R2, the, uh, the adaptive trigger. So again, not normally noticeable, but for a challenge like this, every time I had to do the green R2, I just failed it with the other controller. But as you can see, as soon as I swapped, it was better. And honestly, the R2 side is more intuitive for me because we spend more time probably pulling the R2 trigger than we do the left. And so it actually did make a difference. And with that, I think I'm officially going to retire that controller as like a spare or like a two-player one uh, in case I need it. So I've swapped to my other controller and that definitely helped me to beat Jules. So there we go. I admit defeat. Hard to compete against an athlete like you. There we have it. So it took longer than I would have liked, but I always knew I was bad at that. And genuinely, the controller, what I started doing eventually was just like um, abandoning any attempt where I needed an R2. So I just instantly retried the stuff. And it probably wasn't the, the best way to tackle it. But yes, as we push towards 30 hours, I have completed that. And I am now ready to roll. Now. She should get the champion belt. Nice. There should be a bench in there to uh, to chill, honestly. Anyway, let's continue on. Uh, let's do that. And then hmm, get towards here. Towards Mount Corral. Okay.
Okay. So we've got potentially two more little things to do. And we'll see how we do. But I feel a little, at least somewhat vindicated. It, it basically, the first maybe three to five times I screwed up the R2, I was like, yeah, maybe it's just me, you know, for whatever reason, I'm just getting a bit too trigger happy with the R2 and it's just not working. But I was convinced. And it reminds me of the time, if you're newer to the channel, I told this story like once before. Um, I used to work as a localization tester. And that also entailed actually testing the games, but primarily our job was to... Um, where did this guy go? Oh yeah. Primarily our job was to like write bug reports for language related stuff. And so that was like our job, but obviously we tested the games too. And the game that I worked on, I worked on The Last of Us, but I also worked on Drive Club for quite some time. A racing game that was on the PS4 at the time. And basically it was quite interesting because I was one of the better players. I came from like, a, I played a lot of Gran Turismo as a kid. And uh, there were a lot of people that worked at the office that were primarily there for like language skills. Wait, what? That, that were primarily there for language yeah. skills. And so they're not really gamers and they don't have much experience. So I was basically one of the best at the office uh, for that. And one day we did this, like, I think we had a whole bunch of time. Um, there was a build that we were waiting for and we basically almost had like half the day off. And we were just basically just racing and having fun in the game. And basically there was this track where I knew that I should have had the fastest time. We were doing a time trial like between us um, in the office and I should have been quicker. But uh, in racing games, you have basically something called the ghost car, in which basically you see this like ghost version of the car that has the fastest time. And we were using the same car, but when we were on the straights, for some reason, I just wasn't able to get up to the same speed. It was very close. It was like 98% as fast, but that small difference in top speed just meant that I kept failing and I could not beat this time trial. And I was like, there's something wrong here. Like at first I was like, am I not taking the corners well enough? Is my exit speed too slow? I was thinking of all this stuff and for hours we were just trying to figure out what is going wrong with this thing. And it, we're like, is this some kind of bug? Do I have like a different version of the game? Um, we did everything from like changing the paint job on the car. Like we were just, we were at a loss because clearly something was slightly wrong, but none of us assumed that it could be the controller because it's so close to being normal that surely like a controller is not going to be 99% correct with the adaptive trigger or whatever and then wrong on the rest and then I swapped to a different controller and then I won it the first time and so it turns out that my controller all along had been slower than everybody else's because the right trigger pushes down like 98% instead of the 100 so it was this really weird revelation <laughs> back in the day uh -oh. it seems we've crossed into fiend territory Look alive, people! Rare sea terpsicold variant identified. Commencing guidance protocol. Terpsicolds, whose males carry their eggs to term, are symbols of both familial bliss and fertility. In fact, it was customary for ancient peoples of this region to present their household leaders with terpsicold spines. Those of this variant are so beautiful and sought after that their value rivals that of precious gems. Their dazzling coloration is likely due to the nutrient-rich food found in this area. <sighs> Imagine being gifted something so gorgeous. I know I would certainly be over the moon. Anyway, good luck, Cloud. And make sure not to damage those spines, for my sake. Right, here we go. I believe in you. We're gonna do what we always do. Get that assess in. Let's do it right. Just about to get hit there. Elemental weakness ice again. Interesting. They begin whirling after a spin attack or a successful leech. While whirling, they struggle of damage, but hitting them with powerful defensive abilities will interrupt and pressure them. Don't overdo it. Here I go. Too easy. Right, let's switch this to ice so that we actually have a chance to mess with them a bit. Wow, that pressure is really huge. They just didn't stop spinning. I was like, surely they spent like 20 seconds just spinning. So I'm just going to start again. I thought like the ice would stop them. Maybe not. I'm going to assess again though so that I don't forget later. On you. Yeah, okay. whatever. Oh. 
Okay. Interesting abilities. Right. So many attacks here. Hold on. I'm gonna get someone else to heal here. Just gonna wait a sec here. Do they not stop? Like. Such a strange. That's very weird. Okay. They just don't stop. I've not encountered anything like this so far. Okay. They come at you like trucks. Um, let's make sure we're healed up first. We need to be more prepared. Okay. I'm gonna get myself two slots to start here. Do that. And then. Yeah. So I put the pressure on much earlier here. If you give them a chance to get like um, a foothold in the battle, they just seem really horrible, so... Yeah, we've got Blizzard here as well. I thought it was attacking you, Pink. Rude. There we go. Excellent work completing our combat objectives. Though I suspect it wasn't much of a challenge. To be honest, it was. The, when they get going and they're all spinning at the same time, they just don't stop. It's really weird. It's like a weird combination, but okay. It's not, again, it's convenient and nice that you can just retry so easily and you don't have to waste time. Now, I'm going to continue on just to this pocket here, I think, or in general, I think we can just continue this way if we want, but I want to kind of see where the story is trying to take me here. Probably into Mount Corel, of course, but... Let's have a look first. Yeah, let's get up here. If we can. No, we can't. Um, whoops. Let's do this. Yeah, I don't want to fight them. Too high up. I guess I think we do have to go into Mount Corel. Or we have to go all the way around these bits. Interesting. Okay. I actually want to do a little bit of story now. Johnny's request is level 31, so we still have some time for that. Oh yeah, we had the, the summon thing. It was a cave, okay. Now I got it. That's definitely easier. Corel's divine sanctuaries contain knowledge of the summoned entity, Alexander. Long ago, a great but wicked nation prospered in Corel. Legend tells that it was wiped out overnight by a giant mechanical construct. A construct called Alexander. Hmm. 
power to destroy. It's been a while since we found one of these, actually. Alexander should be interesting to fight. No elemental weakness to exploit, really. It should generally be holy that it's strong to. Analysis complete. I managed to extract the necessary data from the crystal. This should allow me to strengthen your materia. Yeah, to be fair, I should equip Phoenix on someone. I forgot. Uh, let's have a look. I've not really been using Leviathan much, but obviously the stat boosts are probably good. Um, I get more magic, and that's it, really. Re raise and rise learned. Ah, nice. We'll go for that. Hmm, can make another one of these. Or we wait a little longer and we make one of these. To be fair, we're only going to be able to make one when we do, so I might just make another one here, honestly. Star Pendant. Immune to Poison, let's do that. Yeah, these are all just generally stuff you find in chests or able to buy from the shop and that kind of thing, but it's a bit different now. And we have this. That's going to be needed later, so we'll have it prepped. So that's that sorted, and we're almost at the place where we need to continue on. The only thing I want to do, we've got the Chocobo stop here anyway, I want to quickly visit Chadley. And... Can I fast travel to him? I can't. I want to see if I can pick up any more fire and ice material and stuff, or do I have to travel to the location he's in? Because I remember looking at that menu before and I couldn't see it. Yeah, so we've got the different region ones. Ah, they did only have one. Fine. I thought they had more. Yeah, I mean, I don't think we have much else to, to do here. Just get them. We could maybe sell them afterwards. Yeah, I guess basically by getting all the points, you get to get all of the material. But it's a shame they only have one of these. I had it in my mind that we had more. Okay. Needless to say, many hazards await you on the road, so take care. Quick rest, and then we go to the story. Hiking trail. Okay. Hmm, okay. We're back on like a. Uh... Yeah. Where is this? Yeah, I say we take on the story a little bit, see how we do, and then we will continue. Because I mean, the next story point is literally here. I think you could go off and go around and start trying to do all of this stuff, but. Let's just push forward a little bit first and see what we're dealing with. And then we'll change it up. Out of service. So we've got a walk? Ah, you'll be fine. Fresh air, nice view. The view ain't all that. Not unless you enjoy staring at ruined reactors. Right. You grew up around here, didn't you? <sighs> Let's get a move on. Hey, Cloud! The materia is like super condensed Mako or something, right? So? So? That means wherever we find Mako, we'll find materia too! <laughs> All right, timeout's over, team. Let's go! She loves that materia. You know, Yuffie. When you're part of a team, you can't just do whatever you feel like. What? So does that mean I gotta run everything by you first? Yep. 
So that's the game. Fine. Permission to sing, sir? What? Permission to scratch my back, sir? Permission huh? to blow my nose, sir? Huh? Oh, so Can't get permission to yawn yet. Well, do I get permission or not? Sure, you can do it while you're warming the bench. That's an abuse of power. Tyrant, tyrant! <laughs> Tifa, tell me your secret. How'd you put up with this jerk face? <laughs> His good qualities outweigh the bad. Yeah, by how much? Like 51% good guy to 49%. I'm sorry, again, for me at least, maybe it's my headphones, but this music is just, just too loud. I, I love the music, but it's like, why do they, why do they keep doing this? So, so loud. A jerk face? Maybe a little more than that. So what, like a 55-45 split? Close to. <laughs> Not you too, t <laughs> Oh man. See, Yuffie comes in, new banter, fresh perspective, new energy, love it. So I don't know if there's any extra chests or anything around. Yeah, I think there's, there isn't too much off trail here. I do see this structure here, just want to have a closer look if I can. Might be some chests hidden away somewhere. And we are back on the story path, so weapons to be found, I assume. But so far at least, we've had seven chapters and we've had three of them be more like world expansive ones. So it's almost a well 40% rate at the moment. That means... Eight, nine. Yeah, we've still got about two or three more of these types of sections. If each one takes like a good five hours to do everything for, then yeah. <laughs> I spoke to someone who finished the game um, before it came out, like someone that's in the review journalism scene, and they said they spent about 70 hours on their first run, and there was one side quest that they missed. And they didn't do any like, you know, new game plus, hard mode, extra this, extra that, so. It's that, it's that level of game, that's what we're talking here. I mean, Final Fantasy XV, I basically did everything I could for a first run. I think that was close to 60 hours or something. The LP was very long for that too, so... You know how it is these days, man. Like, they make games just longer than they ever did before. And sometimes it's great, like, if the game's really good, obviously, the game being long, in general, is not a problem. Um, it's when the games aren't that great and they just make them super long and it's to the detriment of the game, then obviously it's an issue, but... So far, at least, with uh, with Rebirth, I'm not feeling that. Like, yes, considering how far along we are, like, with Remake, at 30 hours, I was starting to get towards the end of the game. And so, it's it's a big change-up in that sense. But I'm not feeling it in that sense. Like, it's, it doesn't feel like it's a detriment to the game. So that's good. I think Aerith might need a break. Sorry. My legs are killing me. <sighs> Let's rest here. But if we stop now, the material I mean, the mystery men might slip away. Hey, I know what to do. I'll go on ahead and scout the area for us. You guys can catch up later. Well, see ya. <laughs> catch up later, my ass. <clears throat> I think I'd better go keep an eye on them. Barrett's not himself right now, you know? I know. Take your time, okay? No need to rush. Thanks. Will do. All right, we've got a party split once again. Yeah, we already had a bit of uh, Tifa, Yuffie, and Barrett banter, so I think that should be good. But Barrett's definitely not in much of a bantering mood right now as we come across a new weapon. Wizard's Rod, that's good. And thank you, Aerith, for showing me that. <laughs> What do we got? Revive Materia. Ah. I should have checked. Actually, I think I can check Chadley's stuff here and see if he does have any um, intels that give me... I 
Alexander Materia, Lightning Materia, First Strike, Vitality, Provoke, Spirit Up, Precision Defense. Okay. So far, at least, uh, we don't have a huge amount. Looks like we're going to get potentially three more. So, yeah, three more open areas seems a, pr a pretty safe bet at the moment. Okay. Cool. Right. 